The Vegas champ, it seems like every fighter, I'm assuming, would want a one day fight here. You're on the poster, you're on the big van. How does it feel to have finally like, really made in life fighting about Vegas? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I've never fought in Vegas before, but everyone, you know, that's one of my goal places to fight. So, you know, last year I got to fight at NSG and now I get to fight at Vegas, so it's ticking off a couple, so it's exciting. Excellent. And this is Vegas, the whole lucky seven. You're on six five win streak, six finishes. How do we make it seven against a household name like Thiago Santos? Uh, I just kind of do what I do, fight at my best, and uh, I'm, I'm always improving, and yeah, I think I think I can beat Thiago anywhere, and uh, you just have to find out on a Saturday night. Excellent. One thing I would want to find out is with this big win, you're in Vegas where, you know, money just flows. We're seeing Porsches. Are we going to just keep that lifestyle up with, like, the big win? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's nice to have a little bit of money for once and uh, not be struggling, but uh, I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm too silly with my money, but we'll see, see what happens. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Good luck with that. Thank you. Rob, what was your first purchase after the uh, big win? I mean, just recently when I got back to Denver, I bought a Porsche. Uh, last year I was just renting cars all year and it was pretty, a pretty big hassle, but I got just a Porsche McCann to drive around in Denver. Uh, but after, after the win, I went to Mexico for a holiday for two weeks, so they're the only two things I've kind of splashed out on. It was a long year last year, away from your family. In Denver the whole time, how, how nice was it to go back and kind of chill and see, see the family? Yeah, it was so good to get home. Uh, I felt like it went very quickly though, and then all of a sudden I had to fly back because, you know, we are starting again on April 1st. But uh, yeah, especially going home for summer and getting out of Denver during the winter was very nice. I, I've said in a couple of uh, interviews and say you, you still feel like you're disrespected and you're not getting the, 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 the respect that you deserve. Do you, well, where's that coming from? Oh, just a little bit in like, uh, I know there's lots of websites that do like the world rankings and, uh, you know, I've won a world title in one of the major promotions and, uh, you know, as you said, I'm undefeated, a light heavyweight, I'm on a six fight winning streak, but, um, you know, all finishes and then still I think sometimes some of the rankings had me down at like 30 or whatever, so I think fighting Thiago is really good for that and just to, you know, fight a big name like him and get a big win over someone who's been ranked in the top five, top ten for such a long time kind of helps me. Uh, shoot up my kind of rankings. And, yeah. There's a big, big free agency signing. Are you, are you actually, are you excited that you, you're the first, first person to fight him, or did you kind of want to fight somebody else and fight him down the line? Uh, it goes both ways. I was excited when he was signed. I, I remember when he signed, and I was like, yes, that's like these are the fights I want. So fighting someone like that this year is going to be great for me. Uh, Obviously, it would have been cool if you know build up and we're fighting the finals or something as a huge fight. But at the same time, uh, that might not have happened. Maybe he lost fights or whatever, and then beating him wouldn't have even seemed like a, as big a deal. So fighting him straight away, welcome him to the PFL as champ. I think that's exciting, and obviously, it's a it's a big fight. Good luck, man. Thank you. Have your teammates or coaches treated you differently now that you're champion, either good or bad? Uh, yeah, Chris treats me uh, worse. Look at him, he's flipping me off right now. <laughs> uh, you know, he doesn't listen to me anymore, but uh, no, nah, I think, I don't, I don't feel like anyone treats me any differently or my life's changed in, like that, in my personal life at all. Do you feel like you have to train harder now that you're a champion just because you have that, like, title kind of over you? Like, you've got to prove to people either in the gym or, like, people watching that this is how a champion trains? Uh, I think a little bit. I think uh, I just I want to. I know I have to keep improving to kind of retain that belt or go back to back. Um, so I'm always looking to. I'm always looking to see how I can train better or smarter or harder, um, and just any ways to keep improving as a as a fighter. Thank you. Good. Yeah. 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 Um, you have a. You have some uh, many wins via KO or TKO. Um, do you consider yourself a power puncher? Um, and for those who don't know, could you describe the feeling of the knockout? Um, I definitely think I've got uh, power to finish people. I know earlier in my career, lots of those TKOs were like on the ground, ground and pound. Uh, and now that I've moved up to light heavyweight and, and, just, and just solely worked on my striking a lot, I know I've got the power to put people away. Um, the knockout last year in the final was, I mean, it was a bit strange because it was a uh, stoppage between rounds, so uh, I've never experienced that before. So it was kind of like, I don't know, it took a while to kind of sink in because I, I, know, I know I was like putting it on him and almost finished him at the very end of the second round and then obviously he couldn't come out for the third, but yeah, 
I think uh, it's nice to finish in someone without it being between rounds. Uh, last question for me. Um, I saw on Instagram and other social media, you seem to have a thing for cheeseburgers. Are they are they your favorite food? And if not, what is your favorite? Uh, yeah, just all sorts of burgers are probably probably my favorite sort of food to go like have a cheat meal and burgers or and chocolate. Yeah. Right on. Thank you. Oh, you're Rob. Um, you're adding a six fight win, uh, winning streak, and you're looking to make that seven against a high profile Diego Santos. What excites you most about this matchup and uh, someone like that? Is it the name value or what is it? Yeah, definitely. He's a you know he's a very good fighter. He's a top ten guy in the world, and um, as well as he's a huge name, and that really excites me. To as I said, like I want to start being considered one of the best light heavyweights in the world, and you know you need to beat people with big names and who up at this level to kind of do that. So it excites me that I get to prove that on uh, April first. Thank you. Is everybody all set? Let's go.